Hi guys and welcome back to part two of uh, replacing the uh, end bearings in a um, in an old Black & Decker router. Right, <coughs> I've already stripped the casing off as, uh, as I showed yesterday. So we're taking it up from where we left off. I'm going to look now at the top bearing. First thing I'm going to do is remove the brushes. Um, and uh, they just unscrew the end caps and the brushes come out. Now what I've done is I've put a little arrow on the brushes showing which way those arrows point towards this on off switch and um, also on one of them I've put a little line like that which marks up with this little line I've put on, the, on um, this coil here. So basically I know which brushes come from where and which direction it was facing uh, because brushes we are to, uh, to match the shaft uh, to, to match the commutator, sorry, and um, it really needs to uh, be um, put back the right way. Right, now, so it there, that bearing doesn't sound too slash at all. Now we need to pull out the uh, the, the armature here. <coughs> One of two things is going to happen, either the um, armature is going to come out and leave the bearing at the bottom here, or the armature will come out and take the uh, bearing with it. Well, I suppose option three is it won't come out at all. Now, you can see here I put the uh, collet nut back on there and that's to stop the uh, end of the shaft being damaged. And I put in the vise here just to protect it. Now, well, oh, well, that's come out very nicely. A bit easier than I'd hoped, uh, than, uh, than I feared it would. Okay, so there's our um, commutator there and uh, that looks in pretty good nick. There's no damage to it that I can see. We'll just put the armature aside. Now that leaves us here with the bearing stuck right down the bottom there. So I'm going to dig my way down to it. I'm going to have to disassemble this. So I'll start actually by just undoing the nut here on the switch. Right. This one uses a, a basic oil switch. This one doesn't have soft start or any of the electronics and that uh, others more modern routers have. This one's over 30 years old, so. Alright. So I'm just going to remove the main winding here. It's called the stator. Two screws, and that now comes off here. And that's why I've marked it here, so that I know which way uh, it goes back on. And this on off switch just pushes out of the way and hopefully the whole thing will just lay there, there. Right. Now I've got much easier access to the bearing but that doesn't help me much because um, the bearing's still stuck in there. I can feel it's very rumpy and it's, uh, when it turns it feels like it's full of gravel. So I now have to remove this. <coughs> now for that I've made this little uh, device here. Uh, basically it's nothing more than a piece of uh, threaded rod which I've bent the bottom into a slight hook shape. It goes through a piece of steel um, and it's got some nuts on it. Lock, two nuts locked together at the end here and uh, this nut here which will apply the tension to the bearing. I don't know if there is a proper device for removing this but uh, it's the one I've made. So basically I'm just going to hook that there in below because fortunately there is a uh, quite a big distance uh, gap in, in the back here. There's no way of pushing it out from the back because of that. And that's just going to go in here and sit down like that. So let's hook the bearing, wind this here up and now I'm going to start applying pressure to the, uh, to the bearing. It should lift it out. So I'll just start gently winding and as it goes I can see, you probably can't see it there, that it's actually pulling the bearing out as it goes. And I'll also give it a, a 90 degree turn so that I'm pulling the, uh, the bearing up as squarely as I can as well. So just take it easy and there it is, it's just coming out pretty easily there. So you can see it there, 
this how it is when it's uh, just pulling the bearing out. Just loosen off again. Oops. Just give it another bit of a turning, like so. Just make sure that whatever you're pulling against here is, is nice and solid. This here has little tiny upstands on it that I don't want to, to damage. Right, so it's almost out now. If you feel it uh, pressure going on to your bearing, then it's probably starting to twist. So give it a, a turn and pull it from a different uh, angle. It should just pull out easily. There it is. Fine little pull. And there's my bearing out. I don't know if you can hear it, but it isn't sounding very good. There's what I'm left with, the uh, the casing there. There's this little rubber piece in here as well that uh, can be removed, but there's no, no real point in removing it. Just make sure it's nice and clean. Right, now I'm going to show you what happens when uh, you remove the armature from the... Um, the router and the bearing stays on it, which was the other option that was going to happen. So to remove that, um, obviously if it's pulled out of the cup, it's, it's not going to pull out by hand. So for that, I'm going to use some pieces of angle iron. I've got two pieces here, and the angle iron is such that it will just fit under the lip of the uh, between the bearing and the commutator there. It just needs to be able to sit in there and just grab it a little bit. All right. Now we need a little piece of dowel, and I've sharpened this on the end there just a little bit. And we just tap it. And as we tap it, it will come out. Be careful not to tap it all the way through. And when you're almost out, it should just pull off. There we go, and it comes off. The other thing you can use to remove uh, the bearing is if you have one, is a wheel puller. Uh, I've got one here. Uh, it's just a cheap, a cheap one really. Um, initially I couldn't use it on this because the, there was not a big enough gap there. But if you've got a, a small one, or you can just get the gap started, just enough, then you can get the wheel puller onto onto here, and then just wind it off. That's coming off very easily there, and then that will finally pull it off. So there are the options for removing the uh, the bearing from the uh, from the armature. Um, righty ho, so next, uh, our next job will be to um, to reassemble it, put a new bearing in our, um, in the rear of the, uh, the router here, reassemble it, put the brushes in and put it back together. So stay tuned for part three and we'll have a look at that. Cheers guys. Bye.